everybody, today I'm doing a review on Melt Cosmetics Do you Give a Fuck and Lude. These are the two newest shades from Melt Cosmetics lipstick line and these are a duo chrome, these have almost a duo chrome metallic finish. I bought these when they first came out and for some reason, just like with so many of my other reviews, products just got pushed aside. So I'm happy to be bringing this video to, review to you guys today and I do have some live lip swatches and I have some opinions on the formula, etc, etc. So let's start with the swatches so we can see how these perform before I blabber on to you guys about how I feel about formula. The first shade I'm showing you guys is called Elude. If you look at the tube itself, as I'm, sh as I'm showing you guys the tube, if you notice there's a weird white film on it, I'm not sure if this is normal. I haven't had the lipstick that long, and as you can see, I've never used it. So I'm not sure why a almost mold-looking like substance is on my tube, which is a purple shade, very similar to other purple shades that they offer, like by Starlight, except for this has a little bit of a metallic sheen, as you can see, it gives a little bit of a blue reflection. While applying this to my lips, it did tug slightly, so it was not a pleasant or smooth application in the least. It did have a matte feel to it, so this is more of a matte metallic, which seems to be really in right now. The next shade is called Do You Give a Fuck, very similar to Don't Give a Fuck, except for this has, again, a very metallic sheen. The metallic sheen on this one is a lighter blue that works very well with its base shade. This gave a little bit less pull and tug compared to Lude, however, it was still a little bit tough to get going. I felt like I may snap the lipstick out of the actual tube. So when you apply this to your lips, do short, soft strokes before going full-blown swipe across the lip. This also had a matte finish and feel. This lipstick was slightly drying, but not terribly drying. I didn't feel like it was as drying as a liquid lipstick, but it definitely wasn't as moisturizing as other formulas. I do suggest using a, a chapstick or a lip balm under your lips 10 minutes prior to applying these, and be sure to exfoliate because they will show lip flaws. Lipsticks didn't feather, they also didn't bleed. They did need quite a few layers to build up to that full opacity. They did need quite a few layers to build up to that full opacity. The duo chrome or that metallic sheen that they have is not apparent if you're in certain lights. You need to be in specific type of light, sunlight, bright light, a well-lit room to really see the effects. It's definitely not as prominent as they showed on their website or on their Instagram. I guess Photoshop goes a long way. One major issue that I personally had was as you saw me turn the tubes, um, there was a weird white film that kind of was reminiscent of a mold around the lipsticks. Now, as you can see, these were brand new and I have not had them that long. So unless these lipsticks are only supposed to last like six months, I'm not sure why this moldy white film is forming around my lipsticks. For those of you that have, the, that have used your lipsticks for quite a while now, did you notice this film on yours? And if so, uh, what did you guys do about it to rectify the situation? Overall, I thought that these lipsticks were a nice addition to the Melt family um, in terms they were in terms of the fact that they were bold. Um, the duochrome was apparent in bright lights, and they did have a very similar formula to the rest of the Melt cosmetic lipsticks. A lot of them do pull and tug at the lips, not not a lot of them are smooth. So all of that was expected. There wasn't really anything too unexpected here. I didn't expect a super duochrome. I didn't expect that that deep metallic sheen that they showed on the website. Um, I do believe that that can be achieved by using the Melt stack to have a little bit more duochrome shift try promiscuous from their stack however even the stack shade doesn't have too much of a shift to it again I really think that they have an excellent Photoshop team to make it look the way it does even swatched on my hand I did a double check to make sure that I wasn't exaggerating as you can see it's it's really minimal in terms of that sheen I feel like comparable comparable products to these are Lime Crimes Pearlies collection. If you haven't checked those out, they also have a blue shade called Denim, which also has a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. And I feel like those are a little bit creamier, but still have that matte formula. So guys, did you pick up the Melt Cosmetics Lude or do you give a fuck? If you did, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you didn't pick these up, let me know why. And also, did any of you guys have the weird film, especially on the purple, because you can see where some of it has been wiped off here. See, as you can see, it's been wiped off. You can see where I applied it. And then you can see where the film is right here. And... It's, it's pretty gross. I don't know why that film is there. As you can see, not, barely any color came off because it was pure film. And the blue one, 
The blue one also has this film as well. Maybe it's part of the processing, but I've never seen this happen before to a melt lipstick. Anyway, as always guys, thank you so much for watching and please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.